We've been through a lot of mentors over the course of this series thus far, and other than the DLC ones, only one of the regular mentors remains. And that would be... Piccolo. Mm. What are you? Uh -huh. That is true. Uh, come Dragon Ball Z, he kind of got his crap together, but back in Dragon Ball... Evil. Like, straight up, not even kidding around. Kicks puppies the whole nine yards. Now, Piccolo was actually an early game mentor. In fact, I believe the, there is a minimum requirement to be his student, but it's like B level three or something. That's certainly Piccolo's method of teaching, given what he did with Gohan. Yeah, one star. And yet, oddly enough, Piccolo is actually one of the few that's kept up with the Saiyans in terms of fighting prowess over the course of the series. Like, if you're not a Saiyan or Piccolo... Now, show me your power. He's got, like, the entry-level AI, too, where he's not even trying to do anything. Okay, maybe every now and then, I guess. Hold it! I know how strong you are already. Okay, I get it! Evil explosion. Obviously not. You were just kind of standing back and staring at me. Another charge skill. I don't know, charge skills... I just don't like charge skills at all. If only because it's hard to determine where your opponent is going to be at the end of the skill. Exactly. Like, since it's hard to determine where the opponent's going to be, or if it's going- or if they're going to move, oftentimes it's as simple as they were flying a circle around me slowly while I tried to hit them. It missed. But, we're beginning our new mentorship under Piccolo. How you doing, Piccolo? Let's see what you've got for me today. Mm. I am, actually. I got one level. I should actually put that on. He's gonna make me put it on, but I should put it on. So, evil explosion. There it is. Okay, this is a short range power key blast can be charged. Mm. That's gonna be awkward. Like, I just don't like charge skills. Like it's it's just so hard to hit people with them. Are you ready? Good. Stop. 
Man, how are you gonna not give me key? Knock me back. Fucking evil explosion is my right click. That's not gonna hit me. Hey, rude. Yeah, like... I mean, it, it'll hit him. It'll get the job done. That's got more range than I thought. Now don't forget that. Like it's not close range. I just got an achievement. I'm not sure what it is. I can't believe it. This is astounding. Evasive skill. So it's an evasive skill. Oh, he wants something. What do you want? I should have one of those. Hmm. Is sort of his father. I yeah. I mean, I guess. I guess technically. I guess technically it was his father. I mean, that's how things happen. Now, admittedly, I actually keep all my items as healing items. And I feel like it would actually help me some to give me maybe a key refilling item to use at the start of some fights. I don't know, though. Okay, so that was Evil Explosion. I'm not a big fan. What was some of the other cool ones we got in here? Tyrant Lancer. Okay, Gigantic Meteor, Perfect Kamehameha. Oh, right. I'm gonna have to remember Blaster Meteor, though, because I like Blaster Meteor. I got Dragon Burn at some point. Super Explosive. Well, I got a lot of these. I probably bought a lot of these. Okay, Super Explosive Wave. Mm. Yes. That's exactly what I do. It's a tactical retreat, though. It's not like, oh no, I'm scared. It's, I know I'm going to get wrecked, so I'm going to keep not getting wrecked until I'm in a good position. Um, if memory serves, this actually reminds me of some of the... Was it image fighting that Piccolo was doing? With Gohan, where Piccolo actually created a couple copies of himself that then f fought Gohan. I'm not sure if it was just a like a multiple form technique where his power was like split between all the forms or whatever, or if it was like shadow images kind of thing. But yeah, this is a thing he did. I feel like they also decided to try to pay, like place more grounds in, for lack of a better word, reality as Dragon Ball went on, whereas, like, early on, and even in early Z, they just did, like, whatever the crap they wanted. No, it's like, he can make multiples of himself. He can shoot clothes from his down, fingertip. That's cool. Okay, Tyrant Lancer, eh? What's Tyrant Lancer do? I forget. I can charge it, I think. This is the one that Ogre tends to use a lot, though. And man, it's great when it kills him. 
It just feels good to fly up to him and go BAM! These guys' AIs are low enough, like, I don't really even need to use... I should try to show it off, though. I wonder if I can get them both... Wee wee! Maybe if I can get them both to, like, group up around me or something. That'll do it. What else do I have? Perfect... Oh man, I don't even have any good ultimates equipped. That's okay, I have Tyrant Lancer! Wait! No, I'm not done! There's the other guy! Where's the other guy? What happened to the other guy? I was... I wasn't done punching you guys. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Light Grenade! Piccolo's got a thing for grenades, it seems. Man, all his attacks are charge. I guess that is a thing Piccolo would do. Given the most chargiest of charge is the one he's perhaps most known for, which is Special Beam Cannon. Light Grenade! Oh, hit the button repeatedly for key blasts at maximum power. Well, we'll figure out how it works. Mm. Are you ready? That's it, mastery. That's the best name you could come up with for this one. Now then, let's see what you've taken away from this training. Use the moves you've learned, and then try to make it your own. Okay, light grenade. Oh, I have to hit it repeatedly. Oh, that'd be neat if it hit him. Okay, Piccolo, hold up. Focus on controlling your power. Fight like your life depends on it. Give me some more key, hold up. If I charge this thing up, does it take more key? I jerk! It cancels out key shots, you just have to fire it first. It's not charging as much, it, like it charged a bunch once. Oh, that was it. That was a good shot. Good. That was quite an attack. You become quite strong. I can't believe it. This is astounding. And we gain Special Beam Cannon, which I don't even recall Piccolo using after he used it against Raditz. And thus ends our training with Piccolo. Oh man, he's even ready to spar! Okay, so let's put on... Special Beam Cannon. So Piccolo developed a technique that can pierce anything. And Krillin created a technique that can cut anything. Interesting. The Special Beam Cannon, though, was... I don't recall if he has it. Maybe he used it in some movies? If he used it in any actual fight, it wasn't, like, a big deal when he used it in an actual fight, because I don't remember it. But, yeah, Special Beam Cannon. It's... It's neat because it can't be blocked, as it says there. 
but as it's known for in the show, it takes a long time to charge up the energy in order to fire it. And because it's a very thin beam going out just the one time, it's very easy to dodge it. So, special beam cannon, cool skill, and it'll frickin' hit him if you can hit him. In the end of the day, it's not the best key, but not the best key ultimate, but eh. Mm. I better oh exercise. I thought it said experience. I better experience. Let's do the spar thing. Yeah. Okay, I really want to hit you with the special beam cannon. That's going to be super cool. Let's see just how much stronger you become. I don't know what his AI is set to. His AI is set to not very bright. Even though he has like a crazy amount of health. And is level 99. Wow, that did, like, no damage to him, too. I mean, it was neat, but not a crazy amount of damage. He's just saying, he's just standing there. Yeah, not a crazy amount of damage. Well, let's compare. Let's compare to something that I know does a pretty respectable amount of damage. He has level 99, though. Like, really? 99? And I know I've got the bonus thing on this to make it do more damage, but... So, yeah, well, it does an ultimate's worth of damage. He's just got an insane amount of HP. Don't mind me, cause you're just floating around like an idiot. Man. I got that too. Oh, that one freaking hurt him. I don't know how to charge that up. I haven't gotten the hang of charging it up yet. You've done well. I couldn't be more proud. I haven't gotten the handle of char hang on like charging that up yet, but I don't know, I can't it works. Believe it. This is astounding. It it works fine. It's a good skill when you're actually sitting back and have the opportunity to. Against higher end AIs though, it would eh. And thus our training with Piccolo completes. For that, we got... What did we get? We got Z-Souls. Okay, we got this one, which is Piccolo's first Z-Soul. Increased Piccolo-related related skill powers. That's pretty standard. And then... Equipping the soul reduces the damage received. Also, the time required to revive allies is greatly reduced. So it's very much a support. That's cool. And, of course, it's... Given the, I can't believe I shielded the brat, which I'm pretty sure is, or at least I would assume, is when Piccolo stood in the way of Nappa's blast to kill Gohan. Which was just a big turnaround moment for Piccolo, like, he was still a villain. Right up until the Saiyan showed up, and even if he was train, even when he was training Gohan, Piccolo was still a villain. He was just a villain dealing with a bigger villain. So he could go back to being a villain once they were gone. But it was throughout that fight, and in raising and due to raising Gohan, that he came around. But thus ends our training with Piccolo. We now have just four. And that actually ends the training with all of the regular mentors. 
which leaves us with four. The four from the DLC. So of these four DLC mentors, which one shall I tackle next?